Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you all are doing well in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope that everyone is healthy and staying safe. Um, so I thought it would be a really great idea to do a DIY video for ferret toys um, or cat toys or dog toys. Some of these toys are interchangeable, particularly cat and ferret toys. A lot of times my ferrets play with cat toys. It happens more so than not. So I have a lot of extra scrap materials. I also have a lot of miscellaneous things around the house that can be used to make toys. And a lot of times I find that when I spend a lot of money on toys, my animals always play with the boxes or the inexpensive things that you don't spend a lot of money on or that you make yourself. So without further ado, I'm going to do a video of six DIY toys that are simple and easy and fun while you are all quarantined or maybe most of us are quarantined. Um, it will give you something to do. If you like this video, please click the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Okay, we're gonna make a pom-pom. So what you need, some scissors and some yarn. So first, I like to be prepared. I'm gonna cut a piece of yarn going to cut it in half like this. Sit them aside. Now you're going to take this. You want to put it kind of in the palm of your hands and just, depending on how big you want the pom pom to just wrap. All right, once you're happy with the amount of yarn you have, which is completely up to you, however much yarn you use is however thick your pom pom is going to be. Take your pieces, lay, I lay them down like this. Lay these in the center, like this. So it should look like this, and it's underneath. See, now you're going to tie this, just like this, and pull, 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 pull. And you're gonna wanna tie it again in a knot, so tie it again, pull. And then I would recommend that you flip it around and that you tie it again in a knot because you don't want your pom-pom to come undone. So now you have this. So now you have to cut these. You wanna, so you should have like a little hole right here on each side. You need to cut those. I know what you're thinking. You're like, that's not a pom-pom. Oh, but it will be. So here's your tails you had. And all you gotta do is basically give your pom-pom a haircut. And you don't have to, you may not wanna cut it too much because it's for your cat and they like the strings or for your ferret. In my case, um, it's for both. So, but I will cut it down a little bit. So we'll just, the shorter you cut it, the more pom-pom it, 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 he is. But the thing is, is that it's a cat toy. So cats like strings. So I don't know that I really wanna cut it down too much because the cats like it like that. Now, if you're trying to make it for like a art project, there's a different way to do this that you may want to do use because um, you would want it to be more uniformed and pom-pommy like for decorations but for a cat toy this is perfect because this is all they want is to play with this so I love obviously miss some spots I'm not a hairdresser um, that's not my profession clearly so and I might leave these strings just because it lets me have a little room to play so for this next project you're gonna need some little squares of fabric whatever kind you want um, I'm gonna use these three because I'm gonna mix the colors so um, you're gonna need some regular pins and just some thread. Now you can, I just have this wrapped around a bobbin from the sewing machine, but it's extra and I don't wanna waste it, so I'm gonna use it for this. Um, I cut out a little template, which you can do or not do, and this is a little ear template. And you'll also need some stuffing or something. Um, you could actually stuff your mouse with scraps of fabric, paper, anything like that. I have a scrap of fabric. So I'm gonna turn this the wrong way for a second just so I can trace on the back and I can see. And you're just gonna take your little mouse pattern 
and I'm gonna put it like this. And then you're gonna get your scissors and cut this out. Now you have kind of a heart. So, look like that. Okay, set this off to the side for a second. So, we need two ears and two eyes. Okay, so now take your little mouse, lay him out. You're gonna put an eye on each side of his head. And an ear. And you kinda want his ear to hang over the edge a little. So like this. You're gonna get your needle and you're gonna sew these in. Okay, so we got your mouse. Now we need him to have a tail. So all you need to do is just cut a tail, however you wanna do it. I'm probably gonna use, just cut him a little tail. Got your tail, and you wanna make sure that you sew your tail on the inside. Okay, so now you're gonna fold your mouse back in half, and you're gonna make sure he's all lined up with each himself, and you're gonna sew him shut. Leave this end open, you gotta stuff him. Leave your thread hanging for a second, and now you have a little hole in his back. I just shove all that in there. Okay, so here's my mouse all said and done. Now, he's not the prettiest little thing, but I think my ferrets will think he's pretty pretty cute. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna need an old sock or just a new sock, whatever. Some kind of rubber bands or some kind of something to tie with. Um, I'm using this as a tail, so this is basically a pom-pom, which I make in this video as well. Um, two tiny eyeballs, a nose, and then I'm gonna use a black marker too. You're also going to want some kind of stuffing. You can use either something like this or you can use, um, really you can stuff it with anything. I've actually stuffed this with extra fabric that I had left over too. So, but if you stuff it with extra fabric and that fabric is colored, you'll see it through a white sock. So just know that. So we're going to start by stuffing this. So basically you have a stuff sock. Now you're gonna take a band, a rubber band or something. I'm gonna use a hair tie because I know that it's safer for the ferret. Now we're gonna go up about three quarters of the way and tie off again. So you should have this, essentially. And I'm just messing with the fabric, with the squishy part of it, so he looks more round. And there you go, you got that. Now, next we're gonna put some eyes. And I am going to glue these on with craft glue that's non-toxic so that if for some reason my ferrets get this off, it's not plastic, they can't eat it, and also, um, it won't hurt them. And again, the reason that I didn't use um, plastic and all of that for the this is because I, you know, I have the ferrets, as many of you who have ferrets know, they will eat plastic and I can't run the risk, so we don't mess with plastic in this house as far as toys go, unless it's specifically not for the ferrets and not within their reach. Right, now I'm gonna use a paint pen. All right, 
right, so now you gotta cut this part. See this band? You don't want that. So we're just gonna cut that off. Okay? And then we're gonna take this and we're just gonna cut straight down the middle. his little butt a little bit as much as possible he probably won't stand because that's not the point if you wanted to do that you'd make it so and there you have a little bunny okay so for the next DIY we're gonna need some kind of rings they can be like this you could really even if you wanted to make it small something like this I used a cookie cutter before and basically you're gonna do this with scraps of fabric. You could also do this with an old fleece blanket that you have at home that, that's like beat up that nobody really wants to use anymore. Um, something like that. So basically you just wanna make some strips. Basically we're just gonna tie these on here. You take and just like go like this, just tie it, it's just a knot. And you're gonna do that twice, two knots. And go all the way around your toy, however many times. If you wanna cover the whole thing, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, and then you can use different colors and different lengths. Um, it's up to you. They really just like playing with it. They like to play tug of war. My ferrets play tug of war with this. They like me to like chase the, like, you know, put it in front of them and play tug of war with them. So they find that very entertaining. And then they usually steal it and run off. And it's just really inexpensive thing to do with them that they like. And I didn't even realize it. I thought, you know, sometimes we go out and we spend all this money on toys and then they end up playing with the craziest stuff. One of their favorite toys is my box of scrap fabric. They really like it. And if they think they're not supposed to have it, they really, really like it. So this is one of those things that they just really like. So I've made lots of these. Here's one that I made recently. They really, really love. So they're simple and they don't seem like much, but honestly, my ferrets really like these. So yeah. So right now we're just cutting out two pieces of scrap fabric into the exact same size. Okay, so basically I cut a heart onto a piece of paper. Now I'm gonna lightly trace this because I'm using pen and I don't really wanna do that. Perfect. You're gonna wanna measure about an inch around, so like this. And you're gonna wanna cut out the heart, but leave this much space extra. Gonna want to cut like this you can cut into the heart it doesn't it doesn't matter it's your size you're just tying this in a knot and you want to do this twice it's just like that and you're gonna go all the way around except you're gonna leave an opening you've tied all your edges. Now we want to stuff it. And now you're going to want to finish tying off your heart. Just want to make sure that I'm like matching these up with the correct piece because if not it will make your heart this shaped and sometimes the little knotty things start to get kind of discombobulated and it's hard to figure out which goes to which so it can be tedious a little bit. It depends. If you cut your strips better or thicker than I did, you may have better luck. And also your heart will try to eat your fabric strips pieces that didn't get tied yet. So you're gonna have to pull them out. And that is 
your heart. If you push it around and kind of move it, you can shape it better. It's part of the stuffing too, so. Mm -hmm.